Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about the difference between a job and a career. Is there a difference? And should one pursue a job or should one pursue a career? When students come for career guidance to CFL, everybody wants to know what's the best career without knowing that they're actually looking for a job. Most of the students want to know which job is going to pay them the most when they graduate. But they ask the question is, which is the best career for me? So let's talk about the difference between a job and a career and the ones that, the way I explain it to the students at CFL. A job is something that one does for money. The main objective is their remuneration, which is for yourself or the family to support. And it's something that one does in the short term. So if you join the IT industry and you're doing it because you are getting the best paid job or you're getting the highest paid jobs, and then in the IT industry, you start with coding and then you change to a next, next job to go to management and then you go to finance and then you go to operations, then you go to products, services. You do a series of jobs in the IT industry and the series of jobs can be called as your career in the IT industry. A career is something that one does because of their interests, their passion, or one, something that they want to pursue for a very long term. Let's say a singer wants to pursue, become a singer for his lifetime. That's, that's his career. An artist, it might be a teacher, it might be a doctor, it could be a counselor, it could be a physiotherapist. Something that you're gonna do for life becomes your career. But there's a difference as well. Let's say if you're doing a job, as time goes by, that is, and you're becoming 45, 50, 55, when you're becoming 60, you get retired from your job. And there's no much value or services that you can provide from your job. But that's not true with careers. Let's say you've taken a career as a doctor. The older you get, the more valuable your services, the more remuneration you're going to make, more valuable your services. Provided that you keep on updated with the uh, knowledge or the technology in your field. You might become a teacher. You might become a counselor. You might become a physiotherapist. If you keep up with your knowledge in that field and you become the best in your field, your services will keep on growing and you can earn till the time you're mentally and physically healthy. There is nothing wrong in both, right? There's nothing wrong in choosing a job or a career. It depends on what you want in life right now. You take my example. When I was growing up, my family was in a lot of debt. And at that point in time, I wanted a job that could pay me well. I realized that at a certain point in time, that it's, I'm not going to get satisfaction for my job. I not, my job is not my purpose in life. And my job is not something that is going to give something meaning to my life. So I changed from my job to my career. And my career right now is in education. I want to make an impact in education. And that's why I've chosen this as my career. And I can work on this till I want to, till I'm physically and mentally able to. And that's the career, that I'm willing to do something for a very, very, very long time. Let's say you're an entrepreneur. Is it a job? Is it a career? Entrepreneurship is a career. You have to think about it that when you start in any career, you're not going to earn really well. But the longer you go, in the long term, it's going to have the best returns. Think about Warren Buffett, you know, probably the one of the richest man in the world right now. And he's chosen his career in finance, in investment. And look at the wealth he's created till the age of 60. And look at the wealth he's created from the age of 60 to the current age right now. And you'll see more than 90% of his wealth was created after the age of 60. So when you choose a career, your wealth is created or your value is created, the older you get, the more skilled you get, the more better you get. And so the difference between a job is it's for the short term. You get remunerations very quickly, but it die downs or reduces with time. So if you're coming for career guidance, be very clear. Are you looking for a job? That is something that will pay you really well in the short term or something that you want to do for the rest of your life, or something that you're pursuing your passions, or something you're interested about. And that is when, if you know that, then you can get the clear 
or the right advice. Now that you know the difference between a job and a career, to decide between should I choose for a go for a job or should I should I go for a career, it is important that you know your values. Values are aspects that are important to you at the current point in time. Your values could be honesty, your value could be financial stability, and so on. Now, I'll give an example, right? When I was uh, growing up, when I was in Anadika Suratkal, my family was in a lot of debt. So one of the values that I had taken for myself at that time was financial stability is of extreme importance to me. So whatever I did, going back to the going to the US, starting going for my master's, getting a job in Slumberjay, and so on, was to ensure or was to fulfill my values or stay true to my values. And once I had my values and once I had financial stability and I had a different, I wanted to choose a career then. What are my values then? Or what are my values now? To live a meaningful life, to have contribution to the community, to the society. And those are my values now, one of the, some of the values now. So knowing your values helps you choose or helps you decide between a job and a career. Now that you know the difference between a job and a career, and now that you know how important values are, take some time and choose your values or know your values before you choose a job or before you choose a career. Thank you. Ciao.